The project was to celebrate the uh, Queen's Platinum Jubilee um, and because the Queen was a great woman we wanted to celebrate all the great women who have been involved here at Benjamin Grove from Victorian times up to uh, modern day. Um, I worked with community groups, started at the late shows last year and we come up with some Art Deco designs and also um, I got people to put forward names to nominate p uh, inspirational women for to go in the windows. I then worked with a couple of community groups here at Bensham um, on the designs and we also did paint, uh, glass painting classes. So um, the, the groups that I work with did, did the flower designs around the outside of the, uh, of the piece and um, we looked at um, sorry materials and colours. We decided to put an older lady in and a younger um, South Asian lady in because they're underrepresented in artwork, um, particularly in stained glass. I haven't really seen um, any women of colour in stained glass and you, you very rarely uh, see elderly people uh, depicted. So, uh, And I also put Amity which means friendship and unity, which means togetherness. So, uh, so they celebrate all the women who come to Bencham Grove. So we're going to launch and celebrate it on International Women's Day, which is March the 8th. It's to celebrate these lovely stained glass windows that Chris has made. That was also the late Queen's Jubilee Fund that we got the money from, which again is very nice to have on uh, International Women's Day, isn't it? You know? um, lots of people have spent it on garden parties and things, but we feel that we've got something here that's absolutely permanent mm -hmm. and absolutely beautiful. We've got stained glass around the house, different places, and it's, it stands up to that perfectly, I think. So, well done. Are we ready? Yes? Which is, I think it just makes such a big difference. It does, it really does. I've been wanting to do them in windows for years. Looks like an old house's staircase should look. Yeah, it does. 